Is this what you call the London? <laughs> London. It's very much like uh, Willy Wonka's fun. Not sure about the hat, though. <laughs> this was Jimmy's Food Factory, which relies on a simple premise. Most of us don't really know what goes on inside a food factory. I do. <laughs> <laughs> My sister worked in one over the summer holidays and she told me what happens. <laughs> this, week... <laughs> this week, Jimmy went to find out how they make ice cream, in particular, the Walls Vionetta. Mm, they're lovely for a special occasion like a christening or ruby wedding. <laughs> I suppose... I suppose the Viennetta is named after the Austrian capital, Vienna. I'm watching all those Viennettas going along the conveyor belt in the factory, reminding me a bit of German tanks rolling into Poland. <laughs> they make four million malfunctioning ice creams here every day. But how do they make these fantastic shapes? Actually, I prefer a good old English 99. Germans! Yeah. It's jammed! <laughs> so it's no use. I need reinforcements. Thanks, Mr. Funny Face. No problem, Mr. Harry. Oh, it was like Wars War II there for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> one thing I learned from this show is where milk comes from. And there's no putting one past Jimmy. Hey, that's not milk, is it? <laughs> no. It's lemonade. And round the corner, chocolate's made. <laughs> mm. yeah. But you've got to be careful milking cows, as Jimmy very nearly found out. Now, when you're, when you're getting the cow, you're plugging the cow into the milking machine, you forget how close you are to the other cow's backside. Because <laughs> your head's in here, you look up, there's a bum right above you. <laughs> So it's really easy to get a cow pat shampoo and then a, and a cow wee rinse. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like the idea of a cow pat shampoo, but <laughs> then there's always the cow wee rinse. <laughs> Which is better? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> That's odd. Yeah, I make it come alive, don't I? <laughs> All the time, just trying to get people to not turn over to watch Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> so that we will provide the maximum amount of audience for the X Factor. <laughs> that is my job. <laughs> Welcome back to TV Burp Gold 3. Failed bikini wax on the bill. Are you the policeman from the park? Yeah, BC Nate Roberts. I'm sorry, I'm still a bit fuzzy. <laughs> Useless jockey on Country File. Well, you know, what, what you do, you see the horses at the sales and you see what they're like. You see them like and looking at the Woman in a deck chair gets turned on by Car Sponge on Taggart. Whoa! <laughs> Lady Post's invisible letter on Corrie. In it goes. <laughs> and Rat Catch is unfamiliar with what a rat looks like on the Rat Pack. Charlie smelt something behind the fridge. Nice. Yeah, I've got a dead rat. Alright, get him out. That's a dog. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, has anyone seen my action man and Barbie? Yes, my action man and Barbie. I, I had them here earlier. I can't think where they've got you. We've yet to Oi, see how that's my are. action man and Barbie. <laughs> yes, Bear Grylls is back. And his first priority is to make a cup of tea. But this being Bear, it's no ordinary cuppa. You get more animals here. Things like things like the rock Dassey, which is like a like a big guinea pig. And all of this stuff here is Dassey droppings. The Bushmen actually used to take all this Dassey poo and make tea. Yes, made from guinea pig droppings. <laughs> Not so much typhoo as typhoo. <laughs> Still, let's give it a chance. Maybe the milk's off. <laughs> so, that's the drink. What would go nicely with that? I'm not going to need to eat for a week after this. Cup of Taipu tea and a maggot. <laughs> I imagine it must be difficult to describe what a maggot tastes like. I mean, all you can do, surely, is just draw on your own personal experience. <sighs> it's like if all your friends got all their bogeys together, <laughs> squeeze them inside a sausage. <laughs> Put that in your mouth. No. Yeah, which public school did you go to again? <laughs> At least he's getting nourishment. I'm beginning to think that that was one bug too many, and I'm soon feeling ill. Within hours, I've got diarrhea. I knew that milk was off. <laughs> but with diarrhea, Bear has got to get some fresh water to avoid dehydration. Unfortunately, the only water around is all muddy. Don't worry, Bear's got a way of filtering the big bits out. One way I can clean the water is just to improvise something out of my rucksack. You know, I've used my socks before, even underpants. Yeah, using your pants to sieve your drinking water. <laughs> I think if you've got diarrhoea... <laughs> ..and you're drinking water that's been through your pants... <laughs> That's pretty much the definition of a vicious circle. Pants, diarrhea, pants, diarrhea, pants. Now, what do you do if you're driving along and something goes wrong with one of your car doors? You take out the spare door, don't you? This was Natural Born Sellers, ITV One's answer to The Apprentice, if the question was, can you make a show that's not as good as The Apprentice? <laughs> a group of salespeople competing for the chance not to work for Sir Alan Sugar. And every week, one of them is fired. This week, they were in Yorkshire. Hmm, not exactly Kent, is it? And their task this week was to sell a new kind of cleaning system. And it's all based upon a specially formulated cleaning mitt. Very small amount of cold water. So, Danny, <laughs> you knew it was coming. OK, um, butter on the surface. So, perfect. Don't need to use too much. <laughs> Oh, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's really nice. Can we go a bit deeper than weird? That's no, a really nice feeling. It's like a soft feel, isn't it? It's like... Can you feel it picking up, though? Yeah. You can feel it. It's a new man. <laughs> it certainly works when trying to deal with that common problem of removing butter from a bin lid. <laughs> oh, yeah, my bin lid is constantly getting smeared with butter. <laughs> what happens is uh, I go to throw the butter away, but forget to apply pressure to the pedal. The lid remains shut, and the butter ends up smeared all over the lid. In the past, I would get the big bits off with my Tesco reward card and then use some... <laughs> some Sif and a Jacob. But now, with this new meat-based system... Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. It comes off lovely. Mm. The only problem then is you've got the butter on the mitt. So you leave the mitt out for the cat to lick off. Mm. Yes. Mm. It's a good mitt-based system there. Mm. <laughs> to help sell it, there's a secret weapon. 
This is Mr. G. Love. Mr. G. Love. The G presumably stands for Jeff. Mm, Jeff Love and his, and his orchestra. Yes. Mm. There are similar cleaning product based characters for the rest of the range. As well as Mr. G. Love, there's Mrs. J. Cloth and, <laughs> and Master B. Ogbrush. <laughs> mm. I was. I was a bit annoyed that salesperson Gavin kept getting Mr. G. Love's name wrong. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Glove. No, it's not Mr. Glove, it's Mr. G. Love. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Glove, how are you? Not Mr. Glove, <laughs> Mr. G. Love. Ding, 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 ding. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'm Mr. Glove. Not Mr. Glove, <laughs> Mr. G. Love. Mr. H. Hill. <laughs> well, it's not nice to get someone's name wrong, is it? <laughs> Time for a look at this week's Freaky Eaters. Chips, pizza, sausages, <laughs> chucky bars, tasty mac. <laughs> the show that pokes fun at people who can't nosh proper like us. And this week, it was almost like a celebrity version of Freaky Eaters. Yes, with top DJ Christopher Hawkins. So, tell do, what is Chris's freaky food hang-up? Chris's poor diet is the result of an embarrassing secret. He's terrified of fruit and vegetables. <laughs> terrified of fruit and veg! <laughs> Sweet corn! <laughs> You call it a love song, yeah, yeah. No, well, it sort of runs in the family, the whole phobia thing. I mean, his dad has his own hang-ups. What phobia did he have? My dad's phobia is of dead matches. <laughs> well, get a lighter, then. <laughs> yeah, you could pretty much stop dead all the male side of the Hawkins family with that. <laughs> a grape. <laughs> with a match in it. <laughs> Hawkins family. <laughs> what this show did do was create one of the most exciting bits of TV of the week. Real nail-biting stuff. Do you think you could pick one of those up? <laughs> I do what with it? Just hold it in your hand. <laughs> All we're doing right now is holding a spear of asparagus. Okay. So you're having to psych yourself up? That's exactly what I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> he held the asparagus! 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 He may have held the asparagus, but it doesn't bode well that Chris has washed his hands of Natalie's instructions to hold an orange. <laughs> he held the orange. He held the orange. No! No! He, no, he did hold the orange. No, no, he, he didn't hold the orange. No, he held the asparagus, but he didn't hold the orange. He didn't hold the orange. He didn't hold the orange. He held the, he held the asparagus. Yeah. We love the orange. No, it, it's a bit unfair because to us it's a bit of a laugh, Chris not being able to eat.